macOS Monterey has been released by Apple, but I have a rant about it. So how's it going everybody? If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Chris. If you're a subscriber to this channel, welcome back and I appreciate you coming back and watching my videos. So if you're watching this video right now and if you have not pressed the subscribe, now is your chance to click that subscribe button down below. I have talked about this before about not to upgrade immediately to the latest macOS operating systems such as the far newest operating system, such as I talked about not to upgrade to Big Sur because of the apps that are not compatible yet, not just from the current apps from Apple, but the third party apps that are still not supported with the newest operating systems. But I do want to talk about a rant about this update about Mac OS Monterey, but this rant is about an installation issue that has been going on, which I'm not the only one that I have faced this installation problem when it comes with installing my MacBook from Big Sur to Monterey. I have a 2015 MacBook Pro. When I got the 2015 MacBook Pro last year, it came with Catalina and I stayed with Catalina for a while and then I upgraded from Catalina to Big Sur in the summer of 2021. When my MacBook was running Big Sur, I had no problems whatsoever and the installation just went through. The good news is that macOS Monterey does support 2015 MacBook Pros. Since my MacBook is on the list that it is upgradable to macOS Monterey, one thing that I'm going to talk about is a problem with installation. I have told you about not to upgrade to the newest macOS operating system because there are, could be some bugs, there could be some software that are not compatible yet. I am going to talk about an error that I just received. When I was making an attempt to install from macOS Big Sur to macOS Monterey, the version is 11.6.2. So I have decided to upgrade it from macOS Big Sur to macOS Monterey, but the problem is that when I tried to update this to Monterey, when the upgrade was in progress, I have received an error message that says a required firmware update could not be installed. A required internal storage is required to update. So I pressed OK and it took me back to Big Sur. And I believe that this error does not make any sense to me because I think that my MacBook Pro does not come with an original Apple SSD drive. That is in regardless, no matter if it is, just let us install the firmware upgrade. And I gotta say that the storage, you know, having a third party storage on a MacBook, you know, seems much better. And, and I know that I'm not the only one that I faced with this issue that prevented me from upgrading from macOS Big Sur to macOS Monterey. There are people who have been facing problems as well, but I know I've been searching it on Google and looking for forums about what was the problem with this because my MacBook Pro seems to be running fine and it's still on the list of being able to upgrade from macOS Big Sur to Monterey. And I believe a compatible internal storage has nothing to do with it because internal storage is always the same and I think Apple should fix this because I would believe that this can be an error that they have made. Because if this was on purpose, you know, we would all be mad at Apple. One thing that would drive us crazy the most is when it comes with the creative software such as Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro. And when they start to bring the newest versions. Apple will make the macOS requirements such as, you know, in order to in order to update to the latest version, you know, it, this app requires macOS 11. But since I am stuck on Big Sur, if it's too late already, because if I want to purchase the creative apps and Apple has brought the new version of those created apps such as Logic and Final Cut Pro, it would now say it requires macOS Monterey or later because that will drive us crazy because why is Apple doing this to make us upgrade to the newest macOS in order to access these applications? They're not just MacBook users who are just there to just use for just surfing the web and just use social media, but there are a lot of people that use creative softwares and they do not have the far latest macOS software version. 
there are people that are running macOS Mojave. There are people who are currently on macOS ICR. And there are some people who are on macOS Yosemite. But the biggest upsetting part is when, when it comes with the newer versions of the creative software from Apple, like Final Cut Pro, Logic, Motion, and so on. One thing that would make us accept the most is when it comes with, you know, when it comes with people who are interested in purchasing the creative apps, such as Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro, that Apple wants to force us to update to the newest macOS operating system. So I have heard about this, that when it comes with new major updates on their creative apps, it has to be one of the two recent macOS operating systems. And I believe that this would not be fair. There are people that are still using the older macOS operating systems and they wanted to use these features and can't Apple expand it up to four operating systems, four older or recent macOS versions so that people can be able to access those features so that, you know, when it comes with upgrading to the new macOS and then they will ended up, you know, causing problems. But I have been hearing about macOS Monterey or people who have had macOS Monterey that are causing problems such as frequent crashes on their software. I have heard people who complain about the fan speeds, which the fans are like going really fast and making loud noise, even if the MacBook is idle. But I even heard about the forums where, you know, when it comes with upgrading to macOS Monterey from Big Sur is that, you know, they want us to replace or to use an original Apple SSD or swap it up but I do not want to risk it. Plus doing these swaps and, and doing a lot of things, it's very expensive when it comes with, you know, trying to find some methods to upgrade to the newest operating system. Even buying the newest MacBook Pros, it's very expensive as well. I hope that Apple can listen to us so that people, including myself, can let us upgrade bring regardless of the brand of the internal storage that we have, or regardless if our internal storage of this MacBook or whatever type of Apple computer is a non-Apple SSD drive or internal SSD drive. Who knows if Apple will bring us a supplemental update or a patch that would let us soon to upgrade from whatever macOS you have or the current recent macOS that I currently have, which is macOS Big Sur, to be able to upgrade to Monterey, also known as Mac OS 12. This is one of the most disappointing error that I have faced because I believe that this error that I have faced when it comes with a compatible internal storage does not make any sense. And Apple should bring or fix this type of error because if this was percent and I hope that Apple takes actions for users who have Apple computers that are not Apple originated SSD drives or Apple or original internal storage that came from Apple to allow us to upgrade to macOS Monterey. But one thing that we strongly do not like is when Apple is being stubborn to us. And I hope that Apple would let us, you know, just keep using the older operating systems until Apple fixes their things so that we can be able to upgrade to the newer macOS because you know, this will take a long time when it comes with upgrading from our current macOS to the newest macOS. So for right now, I'm just going to keep macOS Big Sur on my MacBook Pro and hopefully upgrade to macOS Monterey if Apple fixes its things with all the installation errors when it comes with the internal storage compatibility required or something like that because I know I have faced this issue and I know some of you guys have faced this issue and I do want to access the creative apps as well because you know, there are Apple apps that are so good. There are third party software such as Ableton, Cubase, Nuendo, FL Studio, etc., that are still running on the older Mac OS such as I've seen Ableton that is still supported with Mac OS High Sierra which is one of the oldest macOS that can still support with Ableton. And I noticed that Steinberg Cubase 11 can still run on the older operating system, such as it can run all the way down to macOS Mojave. 
because I've seen some applications that are still supported on the older operating systems, such as I've seen Affinity or other applications that can be still be run with macOS El Capitan. You know, some of them are still working. And I don't really want Apple to take the creative software away from us when it comes with Apple releasing their newest version of the creative software, such as Logic Pro. As you know, Logic Pro 10.7 requires Big Sur. And I wish that Logic Pro 10.7 would have kept supported with macOS Catalina or Mojave. But pretty much Mojave is what I mostly been seeing, what I mostly been heard where a lot of people, a lot of creators still probably use. I think that's my point of most creators that are still using macOS Mojave because of the 32-bit applications. So that concludes this video. So if you guys have any opinions, thoughts, or anything that you want to talk about in the comments, just go for it. Just comment down below. I will be appreciated and I will respond if I can. And of course, please spread the word and just tell Apple to just give us macOS Monterey and regardless if it's not an Apple SSD or if it's an SSD that is not from an Apple. Also known as the original Apple internal storage. And let me know if you still have the same error as I did, such as the installation error that prevented me from upgrading from macOS Big Sur to macOS Monterey. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and see you next time.